let's discuss Kashmir because it is at the center of controversy once again. And this is because the Indian administered part of this region is being stripped of its special status. And just in a little while, I'll explore exactly what that means. But first of all, I want to show you the, the announcement which was being made in India's parliament. <laughs> I have come with a firm resolution in my mind that there shouldn't be a second's delay in removing Article 370. The BJP has murdered the constitution and democracy today. So a lot of strong reaction drew after that announcement. We heard India's Interior Minister mention Article 370. Now, this is part of the constitution that guarantees that Jammu Kashmir has significant autonomy. It allows the state to have its own constitution, to have a separate flag, and also independence over all matters except for foreign affairs, defence and communications. And it has been in place since 1949. My colleague Yogi Tulemai explains why. At the time of partition, Kashmir was a princely state that India and Pakistan fought a war over. Kashmir's special status was a promise made to the region in return for acceding to India. One of the main privileges it gave was that only permanent residents could buy land here. Now, that provision was put in place to protect Jammu Kashmir's distinct demographic character. It is the only Muslim-majority state in India, and today's move could end up actually changing that. It's certainly the concern across the border in Pakistan-administered Kashmir. Our reporter, Fahad Javad, is there for us. Let's get his reaction. Dozens of people have gathered here in Muzaffarabad, which is the capital city of Pakistan-administered Kashmir. And these people are protesting against the Indian government. These people are carrying black-colored flag and they are holding posters that say that it is a planned Indian conspiracy to change the demography of the, of the, of the Kashmir region. Well, there's also strong opposition to this move on the Indian side of the border. Here are some of the thoughts from protesters in New Delhi. We want the indigenous people to rule our land and we want, don't want other people to come there and settle there. We don't want to change our demography. And today that trust in India, that uh, constitutional commitment on the part of uh, the Indian state, uh, this stands virtually demolished. So this is a moment of grief, shock, betrayal for the people of Kashmir. Now, much of the anger that we're hearing is also being directed at the way in which India has carried this out. Kashmir's parliament wasn't consulted. Local politicians, including the former Kashmir chief minister, Mehbooba Mufti, were placed under house arrest. This is her response to this. She says that today marks the darkest day in Indian democracy. To scrap Article 370 is illegal and constitution, unconstitutional. But the government has plenty of supporters. These are are Kashmiri Hindus who are in fact celebrating today's news and they're hopeful that the change to the constitution will in fact see more Hindus settle in their state. That could include some of these Kashmiri Hindus who've been living in exile in New Delhi. They've also been celebrating. Here is their reaction. We congratulate Narendra Modi. Our banishment is ended. The most important thing is that now Jammu Kashmir will prosper. Today is the actual independence. Now the Kashmiri Hindus will return on our own terms. It is a historic and very good step for us that Article 370 has been scrapped.